and I'm actually using a method um, that I read up on the Fine Scale 160 website, which is the um, American standard of, of uh, two millimeter fine scale. Uh, and what the method is there is to actually use a um, this is a piece of white Delrin rod. So it's not metal; it's plastic. It's Delrin. Um, actually, hold the rod in the lathe chuck and uh, then actually spin that, turn that, face off the, the very front um, and by doing so you're making sure that the uh, the whole thing is spinning completely true um, and then what we do then I don't know if you can see it because this is one I've done earlier uh, yeah you can actually see I've actually um, while it's spinning is with a drill, a small drill bit in the tail stock of the, the mill, actually introduce the drill bit to actually drill in a, a small hole in the middle which is concentric because I've drilled it while the thing's spinning so let's make sure it's, everything's concentric uh, and also while it's been spinning I've faced off the you know the front so that makes sure that's completely flat and true while it's spinning and then that then gives a, a nice true spinning base for the uh, to mount the actual wheels onto um, using a small screw. Now the shaft diameter <coughs> of the axle seems to be 1.5 millimeters, so I can actually mount these wheels to the hole in the uh, the Darren base with a an M 1.6 screw. I found these fit perfectly through the wheels without any slop. So what I've done is actually opened up that centre hole to uh, allow this uh, this M1.6 screw to kind of self-tap into, and uh, yeah, because it's all it's all been milled true. Um, once you've actually screwed in the wheel onto that base, uh, that then results in in the wheel spinning nice and true without any wobble, which then gives you a nice uh, a nice starting point to start working and uh, trimming trimming down the wheel okay even though this is a this piece of white darren's already really been done I'll redo and show you you know how I face off the the front and how I drill the hole um, really it needs to be redone anyway because when you take the uh, the thing out of the chuck and remount it it kind of loses its concentricity anyway so it really needs to be kind of redone anyway so um, I'll just quickly show you that, it's very quick. Um, I've obviously mounted that in the chuck, I'm going to spin her up uh, and I'm just going to run the lathe across the front, face off the, the very f first bit of the material and uh, that should make it um, a nice true flat base ready for the wheel, so I'll do that now. <laughs> Okay, I've, uh, I've run the cutter over the, the face a few times, back and forth, uh, and that's uh, ensuring that that's uh, a nice flat base spinning true. What I tend to do now is just move the cutter out of the way and get a sanding block. Like this one, so sanding block and just turn, uh, spin the thing again and I'll just rub that on the front just to kind of get rid of any burrs and ensure it's nice and flat <laughs> quick look at the front there's a slight little pip right in the dead center where the, the cutter didn't actually get to but we're going to drill a hole in the middle anyway so that doesn't matter quick look inside so 
nice flat base for the wheel. Uh, oh, let me grab a wheel. The uh, wheels are going to be actually be mounted on the end here. Like so, so the next step is to actually get a hole drilled into the end uh, to accept the screw, which is going to hold the wheel onto the onto the end. Right, to drill the hole in the centre of the uh, the dowel base, um, I'm just going to use a pack of uh, a, you know, a set of micro drills, uh, which are quite popular. Just goes up to 1.6. Uh, now the the M, where is it? The M1.6 um, screw. If I measure the diameter over the thread, it comes into about 1.45 to 1.5. Um, so obviously you want the hole to be drilled slightly smaller than that to a obviously give the thread something to grab hold of, but not too small so it's really difficult to get in. Um, so I think I think the last one I did I actually did it at 1.5. Um, but anyway, um, I suppose the proper method to do this would be to, to hold the drill in the tail stock, which is not actually on here, but there would be a tail stock holding the drill from this end, and obviously that goes in and drills the hole. I'm not going to use that because this little Unimat 1, uh, once you set up the tail stock on the end, it's not particularly accurate and the thing's not sitting centred. So what I'm going to do is um, be stupid and hold the thing by hand, hold the drill in a pair of pliers and go, go in by hand, uh, which I don't recommend doing. Um, but I'm going to do it because I'm stupid and that way it gets me the result. So I'm going to do that now, but um, yeah, if you're going to do it, uh, hold the drill on a tail stock, do it, do it properly. And something else I should have said, which I didn't before I started... Uh, work is wear eye protection uh, which I am actually currently doing <laughs> uh, trust me and uh, yeah safety first <laughs> so drill the hole in the end uh, I'm going to go in with a 1.5 uh, drill bit I think is what I used last time and it worked quite well okay I've actually kind of changed tactics while I'm doing this actually so instead of using a screw I'm actually using the, uh, the actual drill bit pushed into the um, into the uh, plastic part there which it actually holds the wheel, it's the right diameter, it's a 1.5 uh, diameter drill bit it holds the wheel on nicely, everything's nice and flush and when <coughs> it spins the wheel completely true I guess what you could do instead of using the, the drill bit is actually using the, the actual axle the wheel, wheels came off but um, you'd have to end up removing the gear and then obviously putting it back on when we're done so I'd rather leave that alone not to mess, mess with the gear or anything so um, alternatively you could actually buy some some rod off, uh, off the web at the right diameter to use um, now, one of my reasons for changing tact is when I was actually coming in <coughs> with the screw, um, I found that the screw was uh, going in at a slightly odd angle, and it wasn't actually spinning concentrically. Uh, but I put the drill bit in, and that seems to be going in perfectly, and it's all just spinning nice and true. So I'm going to uh, use this, just because it's spinning so nicely. <laughs> 